Most people think beets lower blood pressure. Well, they don't. At least not the way most people use them. Beets don't fix blood pressure by themselves. They only work after resistance is removed. And if you've tried beets, beet juice, beet powders, or added beets to a salad, and your numbers barely moved, this is exactly why. In this video, I'm gonna show you what that resistance actually is, how to remove it, and then how to use beets three ways to support healthy blood pressure and work your way towards reducing your reliance on prescription pills the right way. So what I'm about to do is walk you through how to remove resistance first, and then show you how to add beets the right way to support healthy blood pressure. And at the end of this video, I'll show you how to download my seven day blood pressure reset formula absolutely for free. But before we get there, I want you to see proof that this framework actually works. Ms. Rogers began her journey with blood pressure readings around 135 over 71 while already taking prescription medications. After applying this blood pressure lowering framework consistently, in less than 40 days she lost 16 pounds and her blood pressure dropped to 104 over 74. Under medical supervision, she was able to reduce her reliance on prescription medications. Not forced, not extreme, but stable. Now let me show you a more severe case. When Red was first diagnosed with high blood pressure, his readings were 220 over 110, a hypertensive crisis requiring immediate medical attention. Red took action and applied this same framework. Over time, his blood pressure came down to 125 over 83, bringing him out of hypertension range under medical guidance. Same framework, different starting points, same direction. Step one is removing resistance. And when I say resistance, I'm not talking about stress in your mind. I'm talking about physical resistance inside of the blood vessels. Blood pressure goes up when blood has to fight its way through the system. If blood vessels are tight, inflamed, overfilled with fluids, or thickened by fats and sugar, the heart has to push harder just to keep blood moving. That extra push is what we call high blood pressure. Let me explain why so many people do everything right and still don't see their numbers move. They add the foods, they drink the juice, they follow the advice and nothing changes. Not because the foods are useless, but because the body never hears the message. Imagine trying to give directions in a room that's loud, crowded, and chaotic. Even if you're saying the right things, the signal gets drowned out. That's exactly what happens inside of the body when pressure is high. People keep adding healthy foods on top of an already overloaded system and the signal those foods send never land. So before we talk about what to add, we have to talk about what's in the way. Because healing doesn't start with addition, healing begins with subtraction. And when you look closely, nearly all of that resistance comes from the same three inputs, excess salt, oils, and refined sugars. The simplest way to remove all three at once isn't a complicated plan, it's stepping away from processed foods. When those are removed, the noise quiets down and the signal clears and the body can finally respond. That's when foods like beets stop getting ignored and start doing what they were always capable of. Before I show you how to use beets, I need to warn you about something that quietly ruins results for most people, even after resistance comes down. Because this is where people think they're doing it right and accidentally stall progress. Once resistance starts coming down, something interesting happens. Foods that were doing almost nothing before suddenly starts getting a response. And this is where beets come in, but not as a shortcut and not as a fix by themselves. They work because of how they communicate with the vascular system. Let me show you what I mean. One of the simplest ways people use beets is by roasting or steaming them. At first glance, that doesn't seem special, but when you look closer, whole beets deliver several signals at the same time. They provide nitrates, potassium, and antioxidants, all working together. Potassium helps to counter sodium-driven water retention, taking pressure off of the system. Antioxidants calm oxidative stress inside of the arterial walls, protecting the signals that tells blood vessels when to relax. And nitrates support nitric oxide, the messenger that allows vessels to open and respond properly. But blood pressure isn't just about how wide blood vessels are in one moment. It's about how intelligently the vascular system responds to changing demands throughout the day. 
Whole beat support signal generation, signal protection, and pressure relief at the same time. When arteries respond correctly, the nervous system senses less of a threat. And when that threat signal comes down, pressure doesn't have to stay elevated. It can normalize, not by force, but by coordination. Once the system starts quieting down, some people may need a stronger signal. Not more force, just a clearer message. And this is where beet juice fits in. When beets are juiced, their nitrates move into circulation much faster. Inside the body, those nitrates are converted into nitric oxide. Nitric oxide isn't a nutrient, it's a signal. It tells your blood vessels that they can relax now. When that signal gets through, the vessels widen and the resistance drop. And the body no longer needs to maintain higher pressure just to move blood forward. And that's why beet juice can be especially useful for people with stiff or unresponsive arteries. Not because it forces anything, but because it delivers the message quickly when the system needs help responding. And timing matters. When beet juice is taken away from meals, absorption improves, conversion works better, and the body can respond more effectively. For most people, about 12 ounces per day is enough to deliver that signal without overwhelming the system. There's one part of the beets almost no one talks about. Most people focus on the root, the juice, or the color, but the real regulator is what grows above the ground, the beet greens. Beet greens are some of the most mineral dense leafy greens you can eat, and blood pressure regulation is heavily mineral dependent. Magnesium helps smooth muscles relax, reduce vascular tension, and it quiets the fight or flight signaling. When magnesium is low, blood vessels stay partially constricted, arteries overreact to stress, and blood pressure stays elevated, even at rest. Beet greens help restore that baseline state of relaxation. They also contain more potassium than the beet root itself. Potassium helps move sodium out of the cells, reducing sodium-driven water retention and lowering circulating volume without dehydration. Beet greens also contain nitrates and chlorophyll, which support nitric oxide signaling and protect the endothelial lining from oxidative damage. This doesn't force blood vessels open. It improves how arteries respond to signaling. Beet greens don't just support dilation, they support control. By adding one or two cups daily, often in a salad, you help the body shift from pressure-based circulation to signal-based regulation. So here's how to think about beets. If your blood pressure feels stubborn or your arteries feel tight and unresponsive, beet juice works best because it delivers the signal fast. If you're focused on steady, long-term regulation, whole beets work better as a daily foundation. And if Stress, tension, or mineral depletion has been part of your story, beet greens help restore control at the nervous system level. Same food, different entry points, same goal. So beets don't lower blood pressure for everyone, not because they don't work, but because timing and resistance decide whether the message gets through. When resistance is removed first, beets stop being ignored and start working the way they were designed to. I've added the link to my free seven day blood pressure reset in the description below. If your goal is to reduce your reliance on prescription medications, I highly recommend watching the next video where I break down a must use item that supports healthy blood pressure by reducing resistance the same way.